Good day to you, ladies and gentlemen. Hope all is well. Listen, I got one for you. I want to know what you would say in this situation. I'm presenting my product to a lady, very attractive, very nicely dressed, very professional. So I'm sitting across from her. We're getting ready to start this meeting, and she got a booger hanging down from her nose. So I'm thinking, Bill, what in the world are you going to say? Number one, you're trying to get some business. Number two, you're probably going to embarrass the woman. Do you embarrass her more by saying something or not saying something? So I went for it. Sarah said, you got something right there. She said, huh, must be a booger. I didn't say nothing, but she was right. So she gets out her Kleenex. She rubs. Did I get it? No. Rubs again. Did I get it that time? No. She said, let me go to the bathroom, take care of this. Now, when she came back, I'm assuming she took care of that one. But if, if anyhow, another one had slid back down in its spot. Thank goodness she didn't ask me, did I get it? I sat there, I didn't say nothing about no booger from then on. I mean, I didn't want to make this clothes a booger clothes. But I'm thinking, you know, about the songs going through my head, you know, boogie down, baby. I'm like, Booger down. Anyhow, what would you do? If you don't say anything, do you lose credibility? We've all been confronted in those kind of situations. You know, and, and I wouldn't want a relationship with somebody professionally. I walk out of the office, I got a big booger hanging down, nobody said something. It ain't like I couldn't see it. The second one, you know, was a little bit more up in there. You know what I mean? But anyhow... What would you do? What would you say? All right. Now, don't be going out there looking for no boogers, but go out there and look for a sale today. And also, I want to say to y'all, a couple of weeks ago, I did me at Elvis Presley. There's 200,000 people impersonating Elvis, and I said nobody was impersonating me. Well, I ain't feeling no love at all. Would you become a friend of mine? Click down there on my Facebook. Become my friend. You don't even have to be my friend. I'll take anybody. So would you click on there for me and, and, and become a friend? Go out there and sell something.